Hey, welcome back, I'm Lei. It's been a week. Time for another episode of Minute Friday. Three minutes on the clock. Let's talk about landing rockets on Mars. First of all, in light of the successful Falcon Heavy launch, media has been bombarding us with all kinds of numbers. Mars facts, SpaceX facts, Falcon Heavy facts, the list goes on. But in terms of human explorations to Mars, let's get one fact straight. We have only achieved seven successful landings on Mars throughout the entirety of human history. On top of that, all of them are unmanned. That means we have never sent anything alive to Mars. Why? Well, we have never felt the need to do so, especially with such a high price to pay. During the 1960s, NASA spent $26 billion on the Apollo missions. It might not seem much now, but at that time, $26 billion was a lot of money. It equates to $200 billion in today's money. But that's history now. What we need to do now is to learn from them. Among seven successful Mars landings in our history, it really just comes down to four proven techniques for soft landing. Aeroshell, parachutes, airbags, as well as retro rockets. Aeroshell is the heat shield that absorbs heat and slows down the spacecraft during entry. Parachutes deploy during descent to take advantage of the Martian atmosphere. Airbags protect the lander. And finally, retro rockets perform controlled landing, EDL. Entry, descent, and landing. These four possibilities might come in different shapes or forms, but they all do the same thing, to slow down the spacecraft for soft landing. Look, interplanetary travels are no better roses, and sometimes you need to use all four techniques to land something on Mars. But if that's what it takes, that's what we'll do. However, learning from these experiences, SpaceX has proposed something bold. It's called supersonic retropropulsion. It sounds like a big deal, but it's really not. Retropropulsion means firing the engines against the direction of travel. Supersonic means firing the engines when the spacecraft is traveling faster than the speed of sound. It's basically what SpaceX does right now with the landing of Falcon 9 boosters. As this video shows, every Falcon 9 landing attempt helps SpaceX perfect its supersonic retropropulsion technology. Both the entry burn and the landing burn are supersonic retropropulsive burns. But this is just one half of the equation. The other half of the equation that's super important is the heat shield. This is the part SpaceX is working on right now, and it has very ambitious targets. As shown in this animation, SpaceX aims to do some kind of aerodynamic acrobatics with the BFR to absorb 99% of the energy during its descent, lowering its speed from 7.5 kilometers per second to around 800 meters per second before the landing burn. Super impressive stuff. I would love to see how SpaceX can make it happen in a few years time. Hey, that's it for today. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love this type of content, consider subscribing. Also, while doing research for this video, something really interesting came up and I'd like to share with you guys. Other than the landing techniques I mentioned in this video, there is another concept landing technique called the penetrator, which impacts the Martian surface at a speed of 200 meters per second and hopes to survive that impact. While it works theoretically, it didn't work in reality as expected. But you know, it's, it's, it's just a concept. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Lei. I'll see you guys next Friday.